all right guys so i'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing so this is a package from my first wig and i'm used to the matte black package that i've been getting for the last like three years but i guess they changed the packaging so nice so you get your flyaway tamer you use this to kind of mold all your flyaways down so it looks nice and sleek i got their cards here this bag features like all of the things you will need to apply your wig bobby pins here's an instructions manual you get a rat tail comb and you get these clips here okay so here is the wig itself i'm pretty sure they sent me um another headband half wig so i love the straight one that i reviewed a few weeks ago so we'll see how this one is you can wash it and stuff before you apply it, but I'm probably just going to straight up apply mine today. So I have this in 20 inches and it's in a silky texture in a natural color. And I have cap size too, which is the 22.5 to 23 inch um, cap. I have a 23 inch head, so I have a bigger head. So if you have a smaller head, go with cap one. And the lace, there's no lace on it because it's uh, a half wig, so. This is the texture of it. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks on me. Hey guys, so I am reviewing another human hair um, headband half wig from my first wig. I did review like that yakky textured one about two and a half weeks ago. And I love that wig. But a lot of people on my channel, they were not feeling the price. This one is expensive as well. And they do have synthetic half wigs that you can just wear with a headband so you don't have to get this but i have worn the yaki version so much that is one of my absolute favorite wigs i've ever tried because i love the texture of it and the versatility you can curl it if you want to you can put it up in a bun if you want to but again if you don't agree with the price you don't have to buy it my first wigs they're going to be more expensive and i have tons of other affordable options that you can watch and you know purchase those units but some people don't mind investing in more expensive wigs when they first sent me that email i was like i know they are not doing headband half wigs in 2020 so when i got it i was a little bit nervous but it looks so natural and it lays really flat of course you have to make sure your foundation underneath is flat so it doesn't look crazy um but after you get your foundation flat and just run a flat iron through it Make sure your edges are, you know, laid. If, if you want to leave a little bit of your edges out, make sure your edges are slicked down and you're good. But if you do suffer from hair loss and stuff, you don't, you don't have to have your edges out. You just push the headband all the way to the front and you're good. So this one is called Destiny. And you can wash this before you wear it and you probably should, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to put it on my head. And just like I did in the other video that I did I'm gonna put my edge control on first I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on the front and I am gonna use the she is bomb edge control natural joy she uh, suggested this in one of my po in one of my ponytail videos and so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and I have worn it already it's pretty good so if you're looking for a good edge control check this one out as well as the edge booster edge control by style factor so i'm just gonna put this on and by the way i do have i like to mention my hair texture because sometimes people think um our hair texture can't do certain things i have 4b 4c hair so and these edge controls work really well the edge the edge booster and the she is bomb edge control but use whatever you like for your hair. And since the Yaki video, I have bought some more headbands. I got some from Forever 21. And if you follow me on my Instagram, which is I Fancy Cupcakes, I shared that on my story. I got some from Forever 21 and they were super cute. With the headband wigs, I don't use the one that's in the middle. I use the one that the ones that are on the sides and then the comb in the back. For some reason, even though this is a cap, 
too, it feels a little bit small. And then you just take it in the back and you Velcro it back there. And you can run your fingers through it and fluff it out. This is cute, cute. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and some leave-in conditioner. So by now they have other textures um, and colors too. So they've expanded and I'm going to be featuring more human hair half wigs on my channel um, from other companies. So if you guys enjoy these videos, the ones who do, um, I'm going to have some more. And if you want me to try to feature some synthetic wigs and just put a headband on, I can do that too. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, just like I did with the Yaki straight one, I'm gonna try on some headbands with the wig and show you guys. showed you guys um a few different headbands with this wig and i showed you with you know it in a bun just like i did with the yaki one and i don't know how it looks back there until like i edit the video and i think i tried to be like smooth it out a lot more than i did with the yaki one so it feels like it looks decent back there but i won't know until i edit overall i think this is beautiful the texture of this wig reminds me of my first wigs Bella that I reviewed like two years ago and that's one of my favorite human hair wigs. Now, the price is even higher than the one that I reviewed two weeks ago. It's like teetering on $300. So if that price is not the right price for you, I understand it is very expensive, but it's gonna work for some people. Not everything I put on my channel is gonna work for everybody. So shop in your price range and go with something that's better suited for you. So if you want a curly look like this, but you want like a synthetic version, you can get like Altre Penny and rock it with a headband and you're good to go. Um, but if you are looking for a human hair headband half wig, then I think they're doing a great job with the ones that I have tried so far. And I'm gonna be trying like a kinky curly one from a different company very soon as well. So if you want more of a kinkier texture, I have that coming up for you guys too. So if you are interested in this wig, you can head over to my first wig and pick it up there. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subscribed before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.